fight, the great Haringey Arena in London was again jammed to capacity, and as always, there were lots of well-known people in the crowd. The traditional dress shirts were well represented, especially in the vicinity of the ringside. The gentlemen of the press, of course, were present in full force all around. There's Bruce Woodcock with the well-known actor and sportsman Tom Walls. That's Irish actor Noel Purcell, who'll be in Stuart Granger's new film. And there is Stuart Granger, but I wonder who that curly-haired chap is with him. Well, what do you know? That's me. And that's matchmaker Jack Solomons with comedians Jack Train and Chesney Allen. But now it's almost time for the big event. And first to enter the arena, preceded by his manager, Ted Broadrib, is the British light heavyweight champion, Freddie Mills, who receives a big ovation as he climbs into the ring. And here comes Joe Baxi of America, contender for the world's heavyweight championship. And he too gets a nice hand from the big crowd. But now let's listen to the announcer in the ring who has an interesting introduction to make. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the very great pleasure of introducing to you our British heavyweight champion, Bruce Woodcock. Yes, as you can hear, Woodcock gets a terrific cheer from the crowd, and after wishing both fighters good luck, goes back to his seat. But not before he stopped to smile, one of his biggest and best smiles for our camera. Thank you, Bruce. Well, now... The gloves are just about all ready for inspection, and in just a moment we'll take you back to the ring announcer again for the formal introduction of both contestants. My lord, ladies and gentlemen, the contender for the world heavyweight championship, Joe Beck. A last second consultation in Mills Corner, and there's the bell for round one. Well, as you probably know, this is the only round of the fight in which Mills manages to return much of the treatment which the much bigger and heavier Baxi hands out. Baxi tips the scales almost two stone more than Mills. He's three inches taller than Freddie, and his reach is three inches longer, which means that Mills is up against a really tough proposition. However, if there's one thing Mills has got, it's lots of grit. And as we know from many of his past encounters, he's able to take terrific punishment. As you'll see throughout the whole six rounds which the fight lasted, he did his best to stand up to Baxi against tremendous odds. And it wasn't until there was just no point in taking any more punishment and risking perhaps permanent injury to his eyes, that Mills decided to call it a day. As he said afterwards, it was just like punching a wall. It was a tough enough job, but when one eye was cut and the other closed, it took all my chances away. Well, you can see for yourselves now what Mills meant about punching a wall. And pay particular attention to Baxi's infighting tactics and those damaging uppercuts both right and left. round one with Mills already beginning to show some signs of the punishment he's had to take even though he did his level best to give it as well as take it. And now round two. This is the round in which Baxi first damaged one of Mills' eyes and from that point onwards things got tougher and tougher for Freddie.
end of round two. Bill Seconds do their best to patch up that bad eye, but as round three gets underway, Baxi does practically all the attacking. And it looks as though he's really making a supreme effort to finish off Mills, and Freddy consequently takes a lot more punishment. So it goes all the way through rounds four and five, with Baxi doing most of the attacking, and Mills' face showing signs of more and more battering as time goes on. Keep your eye on Mills, though, and you'll see that from time to time, he makes supreme efforts to keep right in there fighting. The end of round five, Baxi is still looking comparatively fresh, while over in Mill's corner, his seconds again get to work on that badly battered face of his. And so to round six, which turns out to be the last round of the fight. You'll see now that Mills is pretty exhausted after the terrific battering he's been taking, and about all he can do is ward off the barrage after barrage of blows that Baxi hands up. Watch these close-up pictures and you'll see just how enormous this Baxi fellow really is and how much power he packs behind those punches. End of round six, and suddenly, while the crowds are waiting for round seven, there's some dramatic activity in Mills' corner of the ring. After consultation between Freddie and his manager, Broadrib sends for referee Thomas and tells him that Freddie's decided to retire from the contest. The referee goes over, raises back his hand, and for a moment, the crowd scarcely realizes what's happened. But only for a moment, and then a few seconds later, the ring is filled with cameramen taking pictures of the winner. Stopping only to put in his teeth, pardon me, take out his gum shield, Baxi comes over to congratulate Mills on his plucky performance. And as the two stand side by side, the ring announcer gives the crowd the official verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, you deserve with a badly damaged eye, Mills retires from the bat, Baxi is the winner. And so the Mills Baxi contest ends, but I'm sure that every one of us will respond to the ring announcer's suggestion as Mills leaves the ring. Give him a great big hand, folks! <laughs>